Oh, hello, hello, Taurus, my Taurians. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your new moon in Leo video. For some of you all, it's going up early. For some of you all, you still got another day before you can finish strong, like charge through those emotions because the enemy, which is the enemy of the mind, which we know to be the devil or Satan, the carnal mind, your lower flesh, your ego is trying to pull you backwards into some stuff. So let's get into it. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. The energy has already been cleared. So let's go. Let's go, Taurus. Let's go. All right. Let's see what we have here. All right. Perfect alignment with your money. Somebody has gotten to the other side. Now, listen, uh, Taurus, you'll know that you have... You have, and I try to, I try to give you all updates, but you'll know that you have um, landed on the bright side, not the right side, but the bright side of any moon. You know, within each cycle, we have the moon phases and we have eight major moon phases. And we're in this, currently in this last quarter moon of Aries and you're charging through those emotions, trying to resist going back to a certain mindset, just staying focused on your here and now and your future moving forward. And so this perfect synergy, perfect alignment with your money. We have the three of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, the page of pentacles. This is a lot of money in your cars. So stay focused, like really, really stay focused. Let's see a breakthrough for somebody and a lot of energy, a lot of information coming through. So this is what hopefully this is going to encourage somebody to not to fall back into you know, letting your ego, you know, take over and hurt somebody, you know, you don't want to get sucked into something from your past. We have the page of pentacles here. Page of pentacles is like a financial messenger with some good news. Some good news is coming your way about some money. Somebody's been waiting on some money coming your way. We're also looking at the 10 of pentacles, which is really about an emotional and spiritual well-being, like feeling really secure in your situation, like your family situation. You're feeling real secure about your destiny, like where you're going in terms of your money and your uh, some community efforts and that kind of thing. And, you know, your business endeavors, you're feeling real solid. You're feeling real secure. And then we have the three of pentacles right here. And this is where you have like, make sure people around you are rallying towards you, like supporting you, like helping you feel good, right? Again, you're not being dragged back to vengeance and this person hurt me and they did that to me and I got to get this person back. That's devil energy trying to pull somebody back when God is saying, I need you to stay focused in the here and now. Is your family healthy? Are they happy? Are they free? Are they prospering? That's part of your legacy. Like, you know, whoever hurt you or did something to you in the past, I see you moving on from it. Lots of duties and responsibilities coming your way. So why you don't even have a reason to feel bitter about anything? You're just moving forward, booked and busy for some of you all, you know, just booked and busy. Like I said, here we have the ace of the ace of swords, you know, so maybe somebody's been, like I said, waiting on some, some, um, waiting on some news about, you know, some money coming your way and then boom, you know? And so of course it's coming from source. So stay focused. So we have the ace of swords here. Like, so, um, somebody is kind of like, you know, facing the truth about something. So like analyzing you know, some motives and just being very logical minded. So like I said, a breakthrough is coming your way is happening. Right. And then we have the two of wands here. Right. So when we see wands energy, we're looking at, you know, feeling that you have the whole world to conquer and, you know, having the courage to be different. You learn some things from your past. You got some fire up under you. Cause again, we're in this last quarter moon in Aries, right? Before we cross over into this new moon in Leo, new moon energy is all about getting your rest after, especially this one. Oh, Oh my God, this one is like I said, it was the last quarter moon in Capricorn. Capricorn's energy is the devil energy. And, and when I say devil energy, this is not any Capricorns that, you know, it's not a person, it's a spirit of fear and a spirit of doubt. And that devil energy, you know, um, is a energy of, uh, you know, even the energy of sexual temptation, illusions, materialism, feeling like you're chained to this idea, that kind of thing, right? So again, you've learned a lot of lessons in your past, and I don't see anybody trying to go back to their past, you know, in, in a certain mindset. That's why I said, you know, so kudos, kudos to you, Taurus. 
kudos to you for moving forward and not trying to, um, like I said, I see perfect synergy for you in the workplace and moving forward. Like I said, I see you moving on from something. Having, like I said, lots of duties and responsibilities, lots of opportunities coming your way. So like I said before, maybe something was like a thorn in your side or something and you felt like, you know, I, I need to move on from something. Hey, maybe it moved on from you. Maybe it moved on from you. Here we have the King of Pentacles, right? So the King of Pentacles is really all about being wealthy in spirit and wealthy in soul. And then also material riches are coming your way. So stay focused. Like I said, stay focused, stay focused as a situation is over. A situation is over. Something that you may have felt nervous about or whatever, it has moved on from your life. And it was something that was emotionally real intense for you. So like I said, the best the best thing for you to do is not talk about it and make sure people around you are not talking about the situation that could have been real difficult for you. And also, like I said, it came to an end. For some of you all, it's coming to an end. But like I said, you've been waiting on something to come through. And so somebody is going to, like I said, feel real good about life. So be in a posture of gratitude. Be in a posture of gratitude. We have the um, Three of Cups and also the Page of Swords. We also have the Five of Cups. Stop looking back at the past. That's not something you want to be fixated on because that past energy will pull you backwards. And that's what, for those of you all who have another full day before we, you know, go over into this, this new moon, that devil is going to try to pull on you at the last, very last minute. I'm telling you, some of you all may need to isolate yourselves. Like I'm not taking no phone calls from certain types of people. I don't want to be triggered. I'm not trying to go backwards with some stuff in my mind. Will it just gets me upset and sad and disappointed all over again? When you look at your life and see how every Everybody in your life is prospering. Really, what do you have to be? Why, why would you even, you know, add, you know, throw a monkey wrench in your happiness and keep looking back at your past? Instead, get up from this space right here and be in a posture of gratitude. You should be in celebratory mode. You should really be in celebratory mode. There's some people around you that are really, really just happy. They are. They, they are really, really happy with your success. They're proud of you. That's what you want to focus on. No, Not anybody trying to slip in any sarcastic comments that's going to trigger you. I talked to so many people over the years that their friends mean well because they feel like, okay, you, you know, reminding you of past stuff, but it takes you back down memory lane. If you, if you got to, somebody got to, what I'm looking at here, somebody got to set a new definition of people who love you. That stuff may feed your ego for just a tiny bit of time, but then after a while, it's, it can sit in your spirit. And during this cycle in particular, it can sit in your spirit and drag you backwards and get you upset and frustrated all over again. The thing is over. It's over. It's over, right? And here we have the Ace of Wands, right? And so this is about new beginnings. This is about a fresh start. This is about being adventurous in love and romance. This is where your third eye is open. Like you're seeing things that you just haven't, you know, somebody just, if I want to say new lease on life to some degree, but like I said, a cycle is over. It's over. Don't keep reliving it. And I hope somebody's not being stubborn. I mean, because if you bring it back up, you let the devil keep bringing it back up. You really can't blame anybody. Something is over. It's over. Move on. Everybody is everybody is prospering. I don't I don't see any tower cards yet, at least in these cards yet. So it doesn't look like somebody from the past is going through a tower moment or any karma's coming their way or whatever. That's why I've been trying to walk you all through these these phases within the cycle to let you know sometimes the thing that you thought somebody was trying to do to harm you. It had nothing to even do with you. It had nothing to even do with you. It was, could have been some other things. That's why I said, keep your nose up out of it. I think even the last reading, I said to you all, there's some people around you who are going to be going down in some things because they they just keeping drama and stuff going. In their mind, they're thinking, okay, yeah, we're, we're team Taurus and we want to help Taurus. So don't let them, let, don't let that ego pull you back and down into this right here. Don't let that ego pull you back down into this black hole. You got all this greatness going on around you. The majority of cards I'm looking at for you are pentacles cards. So just keep it there. Keep it there. You, your, your family is happy. You feel blessed. You feel like, okay, I'm feeling good right now. Don't let people from your past drag you backwards. Ace of Swords. Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords again. Like I said before, you know, you're facing the truth about something. You're facing the truth about something. Here we have it twice. Mm-hmm. 
This is where you learn how to analyze people's motives around you. Analyze the motives around you. Why do certain people keep bringing stuff back up, keep drudging up the past? You know, they're playing some role. You got to ask God, why Why is it that I, I've known this person for all of this time? Why do they just keep reliving the past? Why do they keep going back to that space where I've already left that space in my life? I'm feeling good about life. That That's how you're going to identify some Judases. <laughs> That's how somebody's going to identify some Judas. It's like, why do you keep taking me back? Why, why if all things to talk about, I'm celebrating, I'm happy over here, I'm feeling good. You know, some of you all have kids. You know, your kids are happy and blessed and all of that. Why do certain people just keep dragging you backwards? You got to ask God, what are their motives? And it came out twice in your car. So I'm, that's letting me know somebody got some people in your circle who just keeps bringing up stuff. You all are protected. You don't have anything to worry about, Taurus. You got to now, you got to look at this thing and say, look at it for what it is. Get some people out of your circle. Ten of Swords. This is what they keep reminding you of. Remember, I was there for you when they left you, you know, emotionally zombified, and I was there for you. Okay, well, thank you. I may have to cut you off at this point because <laughs> you just keep bringing stuff up like everybody that moved on and you still talking about it. Like, what? what is the, what's your motive? Did you have a crush on them? Did you want them for yourself? Like, what is your motive? Because everybody else moved on. You're the only one sitting around talking about it. I mean, are you trying to trigger me for a particular reason? I, I'm already over here celebrating, glad. And here you are. You keep revisiting this place, right? That's not you, Taurus. That's somebody that you know keeps revisiting something. Just keep playing it over and over and over again. Just sick. Just Just sick. Things are flowing to you like water, and it's all good. The two plus the twenty floor twenty four, which reduces to six. Somebody is going through a rebirth. So going through a rebirth. See, source already removed people from your space that could have been a thorn in your side, and it's already happening. And so I understand for some people it was quite intense emotionally, and the devil wants to drag you backwards into that mind that's that space. Of like when you just felt like, you know, this person deeply hurt me. They did this to me. They did that to me. But if you really look at your life, they weren't able to stop or block what God already has set in motion for you. So why do you keep allowing people to drag you backwards? That's ego. That's the devil. The devil keeps people confused. Well, I was just reminding you because look how far you've come. I don't need you to remind me. All you need to do is stay. If you're going to be in my circle, you just need to be sitting here celebrating with me. And if you can't do that without bringing up the past, then you need to get out the circle. Goodbye. Here we have a time for healing. That's right. It's a time for healing. A time for healing. I love it, love it, love it. A time for healing. All right, Taurus, let's keep it moving forward. So those of you, like I said before, for those of you who are, where it's Tuesday and we haven't even gotten to this new moon in uh, new moon in Leo, which is on Thursday, you still have time to fight through those emotions. Ask God, like ask God, why do certain people keep bringing things up? Like I said, you may have a smile on your face and feel like, you know, you're celebrating with these people that something has moved on out of your life and it's no longer a thorn in your side. But you got to ask yourself, push that ego to the side because you really can create heaven on earth within your own universe if you really just get these energies out of your space. So if you move them out of the way, guess what comes to you? Again, things are already flowing your way like water. Some people just need to move out of the way. They'll keep on bringing up your past. I am independent. Here we have 17, which reduces to the number eight. That's the money exchange number. Here we have the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone. See, when you're going at it alone, it's almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Yeah, you survived something that was designed to literally take you out, to completely zombify you, right? See, the number eight, this is this is how victorious this is right here. That's why I want somebody to just stay focused. And if there's anybody, I have to keep saying this. I got to keep reiterating this because we learn by repetition. Listen, if you got anybody in your circle right now who keeps reliving your past, That is the Judas in your circle. I don't care what reason they're bringing it up. But like I said before, here you are a smooth sailing up the road. And they got to just throw a monkey wrench in it. 
that's what I have for you, Torians. Again, this is your new moon in Leo video, which starts on the 28th of this month and it extends for seven days. New moon energy is about you getting your rest, but I'm going to remind you again. Um, I'm going to remind you again right before that. So that's what we have. So like I said, keep on pushing through. Keep pushing through. You know, no matter how painful this was, keep people from around you. And, and sometimes it's the devil. You just, I mean, like I said, well, all of it is the devil trying to drag you backwards and remind you of how painful of a time it was. But if there's anybody in your circle who is a willing participant being used by the devil, keep reminding you of some stuff when this is what God has before you, they may not make it to this legacy wealth stage with you. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all in a couple of days. Bye.